basically. I, you know, I had I had demons growing up, and you know, since my mother's death, and and, um, you know, I I use that expression I'm grand often, you know, too often, and um, was able to, you know, shield myself from the world, and if, you know, I built a wall around myself as I learned in therapy uh, years later. But it's it's um, to protect myself from from anything, you know, and. Um, you became a little. I became depressed, like, and I, I, you know, there was days I couldn't get out of bed, and um, I wasn't working at the time. I'd come back from Belgium after Adrian died, and we had hit a recession, I suppose, in the country. And work was hard to find, but um, you know, I wasn't doing my best to find any work, and I was just, I couldn't get out of bed. You know, there was there was times um, it was just unbearable life, like so. Um, my family, luckily, you know, they banded together and they they sought help for me and. Um, I went to various doctors and stuff, but um, again, I was able to slip back into my old ways until uh, one of my sisters came home and gave me a number for Pieta and just left it on the table for me to ring, for me to contact. And um, I'd read their leaflet, their holistic approach and all this, and it just, it sounded, you know, it sounded, this is different. Mm -hmm. So I gave him a call. Um, the next day, I was I was booked in for an appointment. I arrived at at Pieta House in Lucan, as it was then, yeah. and um, I was greeted by uh, the founder of, of Pieta. Uh, luckily, you know Joan Freeman, and she just gave me the biggest the biggest of hugs, and you know took me in and sat me down and talked to me for ten minutes, and and just decided, yeah, this we're going to look after you. See, what really strikes me about your story is that. This story could have ended really badly. Yeah, it could have. It could have. And, and I'm getting that sense from yeah. you. And secondly, the small and yet profound gesture of your sister leaving the number, not point, pointing her no. finger in your face saying, no. you need to cop yeah. on, leaving that number and saying, I'll just leave this here, yeah. no judgment. Yeah. You then yeah. saying, I'm doing it. Yeah, I, I, knew, I, like, I knew there was something wrong. I knew, I knew I was running away from stuff and I couldn't run anymore because I'd, I'd made that promise after Aiden Droid that I wasn't going to run away. So, yeah, Pieta was, uh, was amazing, you know. They, they, the sessions were, like, I, I, I'd done 10 sessions there and, and like, it's not only that, it's, 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 it's the love and the warmth and right. the kindness they show, you know, and they show it to everyone and anyone I've spoken to who's been there has, has had the same. And how are you now, Paul? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm wonderful now, you know, yeah. like, I, I, I've good days and bad days like yeah, everyone else, that's but the truth. I, I, I know how to, yeah. I know when the bad days are coming or I know what that feeling is right. and I can, you know, do something about it and it's, it's um, like, I, I, I've, I've a wonderful wife and, and she drags the conversation out of me and, you know, <laughs> that's no it's, problem. It's